Great. Well, wellness means different things to different people. And for Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter and Square, it means only eating seven meals per week. The executive shared in an interview that he eats only one large dinner a day, and that consists of fish, chicken, or steak, plus lots of greens. But don't worry, for dessert, he'll eat mixed berries and maybe a little dark chocolate. So the question is, is this actually healthy? I think it is healthy. I think it is, yeah. I think it is healthy. But I'm a big IF. I, I What's like IF? Intermittent fasting. Uh, but this is just Yom Kippur. He's really once a month. He's not intermittent. He's right. just, he's real fasting. No, this he's he's probably. I mean, he's doing. He's extreme. not consolidating he's, into eating he's probably eight doing, hours. He's right. eating like he's one doing, hour. He's doing like a twenty-two two, yeah. right? Which is like the extreme yes, version. Extreme. But I like well, wait, this. intermittent fasting sounds to me like it implies occasionally you fast for the full day. What he's really doing is like near fasting every day. No, no, no that is what intermittent intermittent okay. fasting is like. I try to stick to a 16-8. So 16 hours of not eating, like 12 to eight I try to eat. But it, it's like one to nine maybe is a bit better window for me. But like, yeah, you try to have a period where you just don't eat any food and then a period where you do all your eating. Now, 16-8 is basically what we do normally. It's just not eating breakfast. But he's doing like, sounds like he's doing 22-2. Well, is his, and is his one meal dinner? Yeah, yes, so he'll- a large Gotta be dinner. painful from when you're, no, no. noon to four. So the other thing you have to be careful of when you go this extreme is you can't, you don't sit down and just eat it all. You, you like, you're like, I'm gonna graze on this food from <laughs> six to 8 p.m. Because you know, your you body isn't it, yeah. ready to just take, you can't just like face also, a burrito when your window opens, right? He also work, walks to work every day. So that takes up a good chunk of time. He's I'm meditating for maybe two hours oh, boy. in He there. definitely sleeps He's eight or nine sleeping. hours. So that's so most of it. Uh, and must then be he's nice there, like, I know. All the, I know. All the much, um, stuff raining down on Twitter over the last few I years. I was just gonna say. He's still getting a nice think, uh, fat eight or nine hours and he's it. eating one meal a day. Think about it. No stress eating. The man has created a literal health Escape on the internet, but he sleeps great. Um, and drinks a lot of water. And let's bring this back to the business side, which is this story, whether or not it's healthy and whether or not it works for him, it clearly works for him and he feels good, but this story is sure only to fuel the critics of Twitter, the business, who say, look at this, they've got a CEO who, first of all, he's the CEO of two publicly traded companies at once, mm -hmm. and he says that he aims to spend at least a third, maybe more, of his 2020 living in Africa, which... Fine, that's interesting for him, but a lot of people saying mm, you got some problems here in America where your company is headquartered that you need to get on top of. Look, I, I think the success of Square has bought him a lot of slack. Sorry. I think the success, of, the success of Square, which I agree has been a success, puts actually more pressure on him to just leave Twitter, hand it back to someone else, and go run Square, which is going well. That was one of your big calls for 2020. Mm -hmm.